Yo, what's up everybody? How's everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG, and uh, it's time for our first Outlaws of Thunder Junction Collector Box opening. Very excited. Uh, we are still in pre-release weekend, so we're not going to worry about pricing or anything like that. But uh, I have now seen a couple of these get cracked, and uh, and based off of my play booster experience, I'm I'm very very intrigued by the layout of these boxes. Uh, I'm not even going to say any more. Let's just go ahead and get to opening. As I mentioned, we're still on pre-release weekend, so I'm not going to worry about we're not we're not going to talk about value or pricing. I always like to wait at least a few weeks until you know singles start hitting the market before we actually start talking about uh, price point of singles in the set, value, etc. This is more or less going to be about the uh, actual just opening experience and getting familiar with the uh, the pack layout. I actually, kind of dig the packaging there. That looks pretty cool, like a saddlebag. It's well done. All right, let's pull those out there. Okay, let's dive on in. Uh, opened my first play booster yesterday, and uh, I was really, really happy with how that turned out. They definitely look like they put uh, some more juice behind the play booster, so let's see how these uh, collector packs turn out. All right, we're gonna start off with our little mercenary token. First rare is Kellen joins up, an extended art foil Kellen joins up. I have no idea what, these, what this layout is gonna be, so sure, I'll put that up there. So Kellen joins up. Hey, we have a mythic. First mythic is a breaking news, uh, indomitable creativity. That's kind of cool. Uh, a lot of a lot of good ads there. Additions to that, discreet retrieval that appears to be a commander card. Cool. Held the pay. I actually kind of like this. So it's an X damage spell, and then create a number of tapped creature tokens equal to the amount of X's damage. So if you just want to overkill, then you can get some tapped treasure tokens as a result if you don't have anything to do with the mana. It's actually kind of cool. Nice little X spell there. And then a mythic. Oh, the Gitrog monster. Nice. So we have a pack foil Gitrog, the Ravenous Ride. <laughs> I actually kind of think Saddle is kind of cool. I know uh, people are kind of like, eh, it's just... It's just bad vehicle. I actually think it's maybe even good vehicle. All right, Journey to Nowhere as the foil uncommon breaking news, and then Fierce Retribution as the uncommon breaking news. And then we hit our land, and then we are into our uncommons and commons after that. Okay, kind of got a feel there. Decent first pack with double mythic, including in a indomitable creativity, which is neat, that breaking news. I think... Archive Trap and, and Mana Drain are kind of like the early the early favorites, right, for, for value there. Ooh, what do we got going on here? A poster card? Ooh, Karavek the Punisher. Neat. I actually really dig the foiling on that. Wanted posters are a nice touch, right? It, it seems like an obvious thing to do, but they could have messed it up, and, and they didn't. I think these look really cool. So I think Karavek's pretty sweet as well. Karavek the Punisher and that Wanted Poster foil treatment, which is really nice. And then a Detention Sphere as a rare. I think we're going to get a lot of these, so I'm just going to make a pile down here. If we get any that stick out to me I, that I think are cool, I'll put them up top. So Detention Sphere as a Breaking News rare. And then a Smirking Spelljacker. And that looks to be a Commander card. Sure is. And then an Aven Interrupter. Actually, I think this card is pretty neat. Flash Flying 2-2. When it in, uh, enters the battlefield, exile target spell, it becomes plotted. So if you like... Exile a counterspell and you just that becomes plotted. Good luck playing a counterspell at sorcery speed. So it's kind of neat. And then spells your opponent's cast from graveyards or exile cost two more to cast. So, you know, even if you plot a, a regular spell, another spell, it still costs them two more to actually uh, to bring out. That's kind of cool. No. Yeah. All right. Uh, actually, it doesn't really tax that. I guess it doesn't really tax the plotted though, huh? Because that's just play for free. That's cool. Still, re still a really neat card. And then, oh, our first of the land cycle. I forgot. Yeah. The, uh, Fast lands are in here, and fast lands are not a bad place to be either, so that's kind of cool. I'll definitely take those. So we have Buried in the Garden, Fling, and then we are hit to our land, and into our Uncommons and Commons. All right, definitely going to go a little slower this first time, uh, just kind of getting a feel for the packs and enjoying the opening experience this time around. Okay. Got a mercenary token. Step between two worlds as an extended art foil. Um, kind of good, I think. Uh, the fact that it's a may, though, each player may shuffle their hand in graveyard in the library. If it was a force draw, I think that's uh, wholly different. But um, I'm still kind of curious if, if plotting this and then playing it for free the next turn and, and basically getting a redraw is, is good or not. 
Imps Mischief. Hey, there we go. There is a breaking news card that is actually pretty good. Uh, was reprinted in Commander Masters just this past year, but still a really good spell and obviously a very cool treatment as well. So that's neat. All right, Dead Before Sunrise as the Commander card. I haven't looked too much at the Commander cards yet. Oh, Greed's Gambit. So this is a, uh, I don't know, what is it, borderless or I guess showcase version of a big score card. So all the big score cards are mythic, but they have the regular versions, and then of course there's like foil, and then this is like, I think, I can't remember if they call it showcase or borderless, but there you go, Greed's Gambit. Claim Jumper as a pack foil rare. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what do I want to do here? Sure, I'll put that aside for a second. We got Thornado. <laughs> Humiliate, yep. And then we're going to hit beautiful Foil Swamp. And we hit our Uncommons and Commons after that. Uh, I do want to make room for regular pack, for regular rares. I guess I'll throw these tokens and stuff off to the side. Huh, this is This is fine. Okay. All right. Nice. What is that? What is that? Pack three. This is pack four. Got a couple of them. We've got three mythics, counting the, the big score. Greed's Gambit. Okay. Start off with our token. Oh, whoa! Hey, foil archive trap. That's not bad. So that is a breaking news foil archive trap, and I got to hand it to him on the foiling for these uh, breaking news cards. The foiling looks so clean. It looks really, really good. I actually, actually am pretty impressed with just how how that how it looks, the aesthetic of it on these cards. And Archive Trap is obviously a very cool rare. That is a that is a good pull. Fell the Mighty after that. Destroy all creatures with power greater than power. Yeah, all right. It's five mana. It's another board wipe. Sure. Dream Thief's Bandana as the commander card. And then we've got Leela, or Lila, Undefeated Slick Shot. And then Ariet the Beguiler as a pack foil rare, a foil fling, journey into nowhere, and then our foil island. A lot of people really like these. I know we like we get extended art foil lands in in or full art lands if you want to call them that in every set now. But I've heard a lot of people really really like these. And I can see why they look they look clean. Okay, our uncommons and commons, not bad. I like that archive trap a lot. Okay, pack number five. I don't think we've gotten anything killer, but got some decent stuff. All right, another mercenary token. Ooh, got a mythic. What we got going on here? Oh, ho, ho, ho. hey, that's not bad. That is cool. That is an extended art foil torpor orb out of the big score. And uh, torpor prior to this reprint, torpor orb was really getting up there in price. Creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. Really, really good at uh, shutting down. Obviously, it's symmetrical. It's it, it's for you too, but still a two mana artifact that just shuts down e ETBs. That's a pretty strong card. Really, really good reprint. I think it's a good reprint decision. But I can see Torpor Orb just, you know, post reprint making its way back up as well. So nice pull there. Happy with that. <laughs> Cruel Ultimatum. Uh, this card is a uh, uh, just an absolute monster. Obviously, it's it's you know it's an ultimatum. It's seven mana. I was playing in pre-release, and it's been a long time since I've had somebody hit me with a cruel ultimatum, and it happened in a pre-release, and um, it did not feel good. I, I did would not recommend zero stars getting hit by a cruel ultimatum. So, cool rare, though. Glad to see it back. Rumbleweed as the... Uh, actually, I think Rumbleweed is... I've, I've seen this card. Seems like actually a pretty legit finisher. You know, it's not Crater Hoof, but it's still pretty good. All right, Archmage's Newt. High Noon. Tyrant Scorn in the uh, Breaking News Foil, Essence Capture, our beautiful Mountain, and then Uncommons and Commons after that. Actually pretty happy with that uh, that Torpor Orb. Neat. Okay, last pack of the first half of the box. So pack number six. Rares. Oh, hey, nice. Uh, Obeka, Splitter of the Se Splitter of Seconds as an extended art foil. In that first lot, that's kind of interesting. Um, I like this card a lot, so um, I have plans for it. <laughs> uh, I will. This will likely end up being uh, my commander. So very cool. All right, what do we mythic? Crackle with power. Also an interesting reprint. Cool reprint, but uh, yeah, an interesting one at that. What's this from? 
Kaldheim? Strixhaven? Something like that? All right. Anyways, it's a mythic. Then we've got an Embrace the Unknown as the commander card. Another mythic. It's Kellen the Kid. So that is only our second set mythic to this point. After the Gitrog monster. Um, but it is a wanted poster, Kellen. And then another mythic. Oh, let's go! Hey, all right. Uh, a pack foil for a big score vault born tyrant and this card is an absolute beast i absolutely love it i'm a big fan of this card it is the card i was probably most excited about uh when i saw it get previewed i have a deck immediately lined up for it so very very happy with this pull excellent 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 nice all right back for more i sure am all right murder murder all right that and uncommons in common sweet well Okay, I'm uh, pretty happy with this box thus far. Cool. Into the second half of the box we go. So we've got two from the breaking news, two from the regular set, and three big scores as far as mythics are concerned. So we've seven mythics in total right now. Rare is a, oh, hey, extended guard full of Blooming Marsh. That's pretty neat. Or is this borderless? Oh, it's definitely, yeah, borderless. Cool. Borderless Fastland. That's, uh, that's actually neat. I dig it. All right, Pariah, uh-huh, as the uh, breaking news rare. And then a Cataclysmic Prospecting. Roxanne, as the Extended Art. Step between worlds of Pack Foil this time, instead of the Extended Art Foil. Essence Capture, Buried in the Garden, Swamp, and Uncommons after that. Cool. All right, kind of like that blooming marsh. Neat. I like the uh, the train sequence they did there too for the uh, fast lands. All right, another mercenary token. We're all shocked by this. Ooh, we got a, we got going on here. We have a contagion engine foil. I think that's regular foil. So it is. Uh, it is a mythic off of the breaking news. It doesn't. I don't think it's textured. No, that's just regular foiling. But again, the foiling looks really clean on these. So that is actually a foil mythic contagion engine, which is. I don't actually have any copies of this, so uh, I am now a plus one copy of Contagion Engine and happy about it. That's cool. Next, after another Archive Trap. Why not? Cool, so we have double Archive Trap. One was a uh, foil. This one is a uh, regular non-foil. Again, very good. Uh, very good rare. All right, Arcane Heist. After that commander slot there. Claim Jumper, this time in the Extended Art. And then Riku of Many Paths as a uh, pack foil rare decisive denial decisive denial planes and there we go all right so that does bring us up to what is this eight mythics with four packs remaining counting the one in my hand rare is a pest infestation hey a uh, a uh, breaking news foil pest infestation which is actually a very playable card as well I'll put that up top. I dig that. Ionize. It's been a minute since I've seen that card. Sure. Mythic is a Vihan Gold Waker. So this is a uh, this is a Commander Mythic. I haven't looked at the Commander decks at all for this set, so I'm guessing this is the front. This is uh, one of the Commanders for the Commander decks. Right, three steps ahead, which is uh, this is a non-foil extended art, but a card that I actually like. So I'm going to put it up top. We have a mythic after that. Oh, tiny bones! Hey, so we have another uh, from the actual base set. We have a pack foil, tiny bones, and uh, you can imagine this little guy does he does some stuff. Don't don't let him hit you. How about that, that's just the lesson there. Don't let tiny bones do damage to you. Heartless pillage. Back for more. Into our land, and finish it off with the uncommons and commons. That brings us up to 10 Mythics now, counting the big scores and the uh, base set as well as the breaking news. I think we're probably going to get one or two more big scores. Hopefully we get something good off of that. All right. Start off with a Seraphic Steed. Oh, yeah. Extended Art Foil. Actually, the foiling on that looks really clean. I think it kind of like uh, glows around the unicorn mount. That's kind of cool. All right. Neat. Oko, okay. Uh, good old Oko, the uh, Oko of the Broco Thief of Crowns, because he is busted. Even still, like, <laughs> this guy is just a monster. All right, so we've got uh, a breaking news 
Oko Thief of Crown, the OG Oko. Crackling Spell Slinger. That's off that commander slot there. Annie joins up. Actually, I think a decent card. That's extended art, non foil. And then another Hell to Pay, this time in the pack foil version. Cool. Savage Smash, that time in the foil. Of course, Ride Down in the non foil. Let's ride down. And beautiful island. Okay. Two packs left. Whoa. Almost dropped it. Okay, here we go. I have a mythic. Is that Jace? Oh, it's Oak with a ringleader. Whoa, okay. Wasn't expecting that. So is that like borderless, borderless foil Oko the ringleader? That's interesting. Really cool picture, of course, riding his elk. So we've gotten uh, two Okos out of this box. We've gotten the OG Oko and now the new Oko. Uh, borderless foil. That's actually pretty cool. I actually don't think I've seen the art for that prior to right now. So there's a fifth mythic out of the set. Uh, not counting. Well, I guess it's technically the fourth because we one was a commander. So that's pretty neat. Surgical Extraction, that is a quality rare off of the breaking news. Another mythic is Felix Five Boots. So this is a commander. Soul Tie Mythic, huh? All right, Extended Art Foil, Felix Five Boots. The Ooze Rogue. Free Strider Lookout in the Extended Art. Uh, Akol the Unrepentant, which is a pretty beastly card as a pack foil rare. Then we get to Ride Down again. Heartless Pillage. Overall, I think a generally good selection of cards picked for like the uh, breaking news cards. Um, a lot of them like make sense thematically. I think they did a good job there. I'm gonna put that Oko on top. I think that's really cool. I like the art on that a lot as well. So we've got two Commander Mythics, interesting. Well, actually only three big score. I don't know what that says. Cause I think I got like five or six out of the Play Booster box. Pretty wild. All right, last pack of this first box here. Here we go. Rare is a Duelist of the Mind. Nice. That uh, is uh, the World Champion card right there. Duelist of the Mind. Eh, it's decent. Extend Art Foil. Outlaws. <laughs> Outlaws Merriman. Uh, this is downshifted. This used to be a mythic, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. It was not a particularly good mythic. It was, well, hence the reason it was downshifted. We Ride at Dawn as the commander card. Ooh, mythic. Hey, there we go. There's a big score. Neat. So we got World Waker Helm as a big score extended art. Cool. Another mythic here. Transmutation font. Sweet. So we finish up with two big score mythics, and this is a pack foil. Uh, Transmutation font is a card I actually really like. I haven't figured out like what shell that I want to put in yet, but if you're telling me I can sacrifice three artifacts of different names and then just search my library for any artifact and plop it onto the battlefield, I feel like I have to figure out a way to use that. Cool. Humiliate. Clear shot. And then we hit our last land. And we conclude with our uncommons and commons after that. So let's just take a look at this real quick here. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six mythics from the base set. Well, four from the base set, two commander. And we got one, two, three, four off of the breaking news, including a foil contingent engine. And then we got one, two, three, four, five off of the big score as well. So we get 16 mythics in total. Is that right? Five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. There we go. Uh, wow, that's crazy. Okay. Uh, interesting selection. Really happy with that Vault Porn Tyrant. I like the Torpor Orb a lot as well. The Extended Art Foil um, font I'm a big fan of. The Oka Ring Later looks really cool. Some really good stuff overall. And then that's not even talking about like just the solid rares we got. Some really cool stuff. The uh, Blooming Marsh and the uh, Borderless Foil. Neat stuff. Really interesting experience. I think the set has had, you know, it's really early. We're still we're in pre-release weekend, right? But the set seems to have a fairly high approval rating so far. So anyways, that's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button for me. And by all means, drop me some comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, everybody. And be well.